Drill selection impacts efficiency, cost, and quality. Let's explore indexable insert, indexable tip, and solid carbide drills. The right drill can really make or break productivity. So let's break it down. I'm Justin, technical sales engineer with Kyocera. And I'm Andy Greaves. I'm the East Coast Applications Engineer for Kyocera SGS. So let's explore drill selection. Choosing the wrong drill can lead to poor hole quality, rapid wear, and increased cost. Solid carbide drills deliver precision for small diameter, high speed application. Indexable insert drills are best for large diameter holes in high production environments, while indexable tip drills balance that cost and precision for mid diameter holes. Let's take a minute to talk about those indexable drills. Indexable insert drills are best for high volume environments where speed and efficiency are key. They're commonly used in heavy equipment manufacturing for large diameter through holes in materials like cast iron, steel, and stainless steel. When might a indexable insert drill not be the best solution? Yeah, so you can't have a one size fits all drill. So indexable insert drills, although they're great for roughing, they aren't ideal for high tolerance applications or where a high level of a smooth wall finish is required. They are better for shallower holes as well. They are versatile in the fact that you can use them for high and low production rates, but if you're doing a deeper hole, solid carbide tool is better. Sure, I'd agree with that. One cool thing though about indexable drills are that we can implement different uh, insert geometries yeah. for different materials uh, and applications. For instance, uh, positive rake inserts reduce cutting forces and, and tool failure and like materials stainless steel, heat resistant super alloys. Yeah whereas uh, heavier duty inserts can allow for cross-hole drilling, uh, interrupted cutting or higher feed rates, materials like steel and iron. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Indexable tip drills, however, do combine the precision and reusability of an indexable drill. The carbide tip gives a greater accuracy for the hole, while the reusable body helps maintain the cost mm -hmm. of them. So they're ideal for mid-diameter holes in a wide range of materials, because you've got that versatility of different tips. To add to that, that same drill body will accept a wide range of tip diameters and geometries, uh, which will save shops time and money. They're great for shops that are drill a wide range of hole sizes right. and uh, materials and part features. Yeah, that versatility is really good for the small and medium sized shops. They don't wanna be buying a new body for every tool or a new insert or a new solid carbide drill. One day they might be making something like an aluminum component and the next an Inconel component. And for that, they are able to get that benefit of choosing a different tip to get the job done. The solid carbide drills are really good for smaller diameters with high levels of precision, needing a high RPM mm -hmm. and feed rate. An example of this are micro drills in the PCB arena. They require very accurate, small diameter holes and that solid carbide stiffness and rigidity really does give a valuable process. And to add to that, uh, one other area where solid carbide drills really add a lot of value are in tough materials like mm -hmm. titaniums or inconels yeah. due to that solid carbide rigidity and their slick polished coatings. They give superior surface finishes for critical applications in the aerospace medical industries. So while these three types of drills have different features, one solid feature that they all have between tip drills, indexables, and solid round tools are through coolant capability. Absolutely, yeah. Um, again, the main benefit there is through coolant can improve chip evacuation for deep hole performance. Now, high pressure coolant, say 1,000 PSI plus, absolutely helps improve chip evacuation especially in deep holes, but it's not always needed. The, you know, the high pressure isn't right. always needed. Yep. It's just extra helpful. Expanding more on solid carbide drills, the through coolant is really critical in deep holes. So for deep holes, I'm talking eight, 10, 12 times D for a solid carbide application. We do do higher in our micro range as well, but in this arena, the through coolant really does help sure. get those chips out of the hole quickly and effectively, because otherwise they start to pack and that can cause tool failure very quickly. Another improvement in performance is high performance coatings that our drills are offered in, sure. both in the indexable side and in the solid carbide drill arena. So having a coated drill allows for a better lubricity of the flutes and gets the chips out of the cut area very quickly. This really helps protect the base carbide substrate from heat and wear and helps stop chip adhesion and um, material sticking as it's evacuated up the hole and out, sure. of the, out of the tool. 
Now, one important consideration, though, that we all have to think about are costs associated with yeah. the different style of drills. Yeah. Uh, the number one thing is obviously to pick the right tool for the job no matter what, but we all have to envision uh, and examine the cost applications. So solid carbide drills are gonna be costlier, mm -hmm. uh, but they are best for precision and finishing tasks, not as much for roughing, okay? They are used for applications and are best for those applications requiring high quality finishes because they help avoid uh, rework yes. right, in subsequent yep. processes. We all have to consider also um, where might we be using the wrong tool for the job. Um, if you're struggling with a hole size or tolerance, especially in tough materials, that may mean that the drill type is wrong. Or maybe if you're seeing poor finishes or burrs, that might suggest an improper geometry on the inserts or a tip or the wrong style of solid carbide. A key factor in drill design are the number of margins that the drill has. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of materials, we need a double margin drill. So I'm talking four sure. points of contact for the drill. This really does help make a accurate straight hole mm -hmm. with an improved surface finish as well. One of the downsides to a double margin drill, however, is the fact that because there's more additional points of contact, there's more heat generated, there's more friction, and the heat and the friction breaks down the coating quicker, which can lead to premature tool failure. In hard to machine materials, such as stainless steels and ink canals, we use a single margin drill mm -hmm. where there's less contact, less heat, less friction, and then you get a better performing product. Also, the number of flutes is critical when selecting a drill. Obviously, most drills come in two flutes, mm -hmm. but we do offer three flute count drills mm -hmm. for aluminum and cast irons in the solid carbide range of tools. A few final takeaways here. Indexable insert drills are efficient for large holes, roughing, and high volume environments where tip drills balance the cost and precision for mid-size holes. And solid carbide drills are best for, for high precision, small diameters in high-speed applications and difficult to machine materials. It's important to match the tool to the diameter, material, the production volume and finish requirements. And always don't forget, it's not always a plug and play application. Take the time to experiment and optimize the process because by playing with those speeds and feeds and potential pecking mm -hmm. cycles, you'll be able to get more out of the drill, get a higher level of tool life and a better haul. Thanks for joining us today on Tips and Chips. If you found this helpful, like, comment and hit the notification bell. If you've got any questions or tips that you'd like to share with us all, please leave us a comment and we'd love to hear from you. Do you need help with your application? Visit the link in the description for more resources. And as always, keep those chips flying.